there, it's Lori. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a new video for the My Monthly Hero Kit over at Hero Arts. This is the March kit. It has a fun um, cherry blossom theme and I'm going to make a clean and simple card today showing you how to use different parts of the stamps and the dies. Let me show you what I've got here to make today's card. We've got the stamp set and the dies that are in the kit. I've got a white card base and then an extra piece of white cardstock. We're gonna use my Misty. I have a couple of Hero Arts inks, some Distress ink, and then I have a blender brush for the clouds. To get started, I'm gonna put the large piece of cardstock in my Misty. I'm gonna stamp all the images and die cut them before we put them on the card base. So I have the landscape stamp picked up here in my Misty, and we're gonna use Soft Olive Shadow ink from Hero Arts here on the bottom. And we'll go ahead and stamp that down onto the white cardstock. And of course, the nice thing about the Misty is if you don't get a good image, you can always stamp it again. So I'm gonna add one more layer of this lighter green ink. Next, we'll add in the detail image. This just fits perfectly around these little stones here in the bottom. And this image just adds little grass detail. We're gonna use field green mid-tone ink here for this. And I'm gonna stamp that down. And you can see that just adds a little detail. I might do one more layer just, just for an extra bold look. All right, next, I'm gonna go ahead and add the tree and we're gonna add in the top of the cherry blossom here to the Misty. I'm gonna ink this up with a dark brown ink and I'll go ahead and stamp that down. And then we're gonna use a really pale pink for the top of the tree and I'll stamp that down. So next, the second step for the cherry blossom, uh, another detail stamp and it centers up really easy on that tree. All right, so I'll pick that up. And then this one, I'm gonna use a really pale lavender just to add a little bit of detail to the cherry blossom. So next I'm going to add the dies to cut these pieces out and of course these are amazing open dies which I love so much it's just so easy to line these up. And then I've got a little bit of low tack tape here to tape the dies down to the cardstock and then I'll use two pieces of tape on this just so we get both sides down good. And I'm gonna go run these through my die cut machine and I'll be right back. All right, so there we have two pieces of the tree and the bottom part of the landscape. Now this is open at the bottom, so I'm just gonna snip this off. I'm gonna score my card base at five and a half. And then as you can see, this landscape piece is just a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna cut down the sides here, and then of course I'll cut the bottom off so that fits perfectly on this four and a quarter inch card. That fits perfectly there on the bottom of that card, but I first wanna just add in a little bit of blue, just a light blue um, ink, just so it kind of represents a little bit of sky. I'm using a big ink blender here. And I rub a little bit off and then I just start really lightly and work in circles. It's always better to press really lightly to begin with and add, and that way you don't get like a big glop of blue ink to begin with and always kind of tap off that first little bit of ink. You can see a little bit of blue is starting to show up. So now I'm just gonna add a little bit of adhesive to the back of this landscape and add this to the bottom of the card. Adding a little bit of adhesive to the tree trunk and then we'll put this onto the top of the tree. I do wanna pop up the tree, so I'm just gonna add some foam tape behind and then I'll cut down a little piece to add to the tree trunk so this whole image is popped up. So I'm gonna add in the Live Life in Full Bloom sentiment to the card front. I've got it here in my Misty. And you can kind of see this little staggered edge. I'm just matching that up with the tree right there. They kind of fit together, so I think it will look nice placed right there. So I'm gonna make sure that's straight over here on these grid lines. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that in black ink. 
So here's my finished card. It's very quick and simple as you can tell, but with those multi-step stamps, it adds so much detail to the card. Don't forget on today's blog hop, you can leave a comment on every blog and have a chance to win a $50 gift certificate to Hero Arts. Don't forget you can subscribe to the Hero Arts My Monthly Kit and it will arrive at your doorstep every month. So check the subscription details out and don't forget that there's lots of add-ons that you can purchase as well as the kit. Lots of stamps and dies that go along and coordinate all together. I'm so glad that you came by today. I hope you've enjoyed my video. It's been fun hanging out and I hope that you'll come back again soon. Have a great day.